y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Chantel. if you just see me for the first time thank you for joining in today if you like what you see already please do well to subscribe also turn on your bell icon so you're notified each time i post new content on here okay thank you so much As you can tell from the title of this video, it is my skincare update using the ordinary product. You guys, I've been on a skincare journey for another skincare journey actually because I'm always on a skincare journey. But I've been on this particular one, the ordinary skincare journey for a little over two months. Let me confirm. I started the skincare on August 19th. I wrote it down in my notes. I just confirmed from my phone. And today is the 1st of November. So I've been on it for over two months, like I said earlier. So I just want to tell you guys everything I noticed. And I'll be inserting pictures and videos of what has been going on on my skin ever since i started this journey it's not been the most smooth ride you guys are going to see everything in a bit i have a video up on the initial use of the ordinary products i'll leave a link in the cards and you can go watch that one i recommend that you watch that one first before watching this one so you can hear all i have to say about the products i broke it down i told you all the routine and everything in between over here on the screen is how it all started guys this is how we started and this is how it's going now. So how we started, how it's going. For starters, I'm just going to give a brief rundown on the products and how I apply them now. If you watch the other video and you're watching this one, you understand that I've changed a bit of the application. So for now, everything I use for my skincare routine is all the ordinary products. I'm not adding any other extra again, okay? For my morning routine, the first product I use is the ordinary niacinamide and zinc so this is a niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent and it is water based so this i apply first before applying heavier creams on top of it if you go on their website they advise that you do this thing i'm going to get into all of that but yeah this is the niacinamide and zinc ha i love this product so much i love how it applies on the skin i just love everything about it i love that it's oil control even though i have dry skin it just gives me a perfect balance between oily and dry skin it minimizes my pores it just makes my skin more clarified in simple terms this one is a winner and i love it so much i've tried to keep my routine very simple these days two or three products at most and i'm done so the second product i apply in the morning is the acelaic acid also from the ordinary and this one when i started applying it i later stopped because it has a very strong tingle on the face and if you're not new here you know that i always talk about how sensitive my skin is i feel like my skin is the most sensitive skin in the world that's how bad it is so this one had that very tingling effect and i will feel very uncomfortable it will be itching it will be burning that burning sensation but i read up on it and i found out that that is what it does so you just have to continue using it and with time your skin adjusts right now my skin has adjusted to it i applied as a lake acid this morning and I'm feeling good there's no tingling effect there's no discomfort of any sort so this is the azelaic acid i use this after i apply niacinamide azelaic acid is also water-based but compared to the niacinamide it is heavier in density so i apply my niacinamide first then top it with this one and just enclose everything with my sunscreen that's all i do for my morning routine now that's everything i don't do any other extra thing aside cleansing my face and toning it yeah moving on to my night routine this is the mandelic acid this is the first one i apply in the night and it is also water based but with this one on initial use i did not like it my skin did not like it i don't know what the problem was until i researched and i found out that it's an exfoliant so my skin was literally peeling i'm just going to be leaving videos of the timestamps and everything that i noticed on my skin it was really bad this video i'm going to put here right now it was really bad that i had like i don't even know like my skin burnt that's how it was it was looking really bad i was not wearing makeup anymore my skin was flaky it was so dry and i did not like this product so i gave it a few days i was i said using it every other day as opposed to every day and just to let my skin breathe and adjust to it and it worked so right now i use it and i don't have any adverse effects again this is the mandelic acid and it is what i start off my night routine with 
next in my night routine which is my favorite of the ordinary line like this is my favorite ordinary product i love this one so much because it is so sensitive skin accommodating it doesn't burn it's just very gentle on the skin and it is the alpha abutin 2 percent plus ha guys i'm already hitting pan with this one it is so good this i apply after the mandelic acid and it just has a way of calming my skin down and it helps with hyperpigmentation you guys see my mouth I used to have like dark spot underneath my uh, lip area here even by the size of my mouth but I believe that this did the work this is gold in a jar guys I'm going to leave a picture or a video of what it used to look like before I started using this thing it takes a while to work since it's very gentle this starts working between 8 to 12 weeks you start seeing results between 8 to 12 weeks and I really really love this one if you're not getting anything from the ordinary and you're suffering from dark spots and hyperpigmentation please get the alpha abutin because it's amazing to stop the third and final product in my night routine and my fifth ordinary product this is all i use for my skincare routine at this point is the vitamin c suspension 23 percent plus ha spares two percent this one is really really good i love it so much this one also used to give me that tingling effect like i will burn so much anytime i finish using it i just want to stay under the ac i don't want to stay under the fan i will feel very uncomfortable for like 35 minutes to an hour before it comes down well now my skin is used to it and i love how clarifying it makes me look it even made me look lighter and my skin is more even all the unevenness that was going on on my skin has been cleared it's a work in progress here but it's a far cry from where my face used to be like it's actually water based but it also has a very thick consistency so this is the third and final product i apply in the night so what you understand by my application process is that i start off with the lighter creams and end up with the heavier cream so it locks in everything that i applied for the day and i always do my skincare routine two hours prior to applying makeup that in the day and at night two hours prior to bed so that my pillowcase doesn't take off the products from my face because these things are not cheap at all and we want it to work okay one thing i noticed though that helps with the tingling effect if that is what you're experiencing because I was almost dropping these products and I have read reviews on their website and so many people that have talked about it say oh it has this uncomfortable um, um, effect on your face you're very you feel very sick I don't know how to explain it it's just very uncomfortable you feel like itching your face like small ants are biting you just imagine that what I said doing was to put them in the fridge maybe like three hours prior to application and it tried to tone it down although it wasn't the best but it helped a lot so if you're going through that process just be patient your skin is going to adjust pretty pretty soon like mine has like i don't think there's anybody's skin that's as sensitive as mine so if i can go through it you can go through it trust me another pointer for me is to start sparingly i did not take this advice i did my own i applied everything at once so it wasn't the best result i would advise that you start sparingly start applying it every other day as opposed to every day and start with one product each so you can start with this product for this week then the next week you start with the other one and the upper week you introduce the third one so that if your skin is not liking any of them if your skin is reacting to any of them you can easily pinpoint that and take it off your routine you get me i was not that patient i just went in with everything and you guys saw my results <laughs> Y'all, I know that starting off with skincare can be tough, like making up your mind on what products to buy because there are an array of so many amazing products in the market. But I believe that the first thing that you need to do is to determine your skin problem and your skin type. Are you dealing with acne? Are you dealing with hyperpigmentation? Are you dealing with rough skin? Are you dealing with um, acne scars? Just determine that first and also know your skin type are you oily skin are you dry skin do you have combination skin once you have determined those two basics then it can help you um, narrow down your search when it comes to skincare with the ordinary they have a very good help um, tab on their website which i'm going to leave on the screen kind of confused as to what your problem area is you just go on your website and they have a regimen guide where you can see and pinpoint what your problem areas are i think that that is really smart of them to do that because so many people are confused on where to start when it comes to skincare i'll definitely recommend the ordinary products because for me they work and they are really really affordable there's been a lot of debates here and there where people say oh it doesn't work some people say it works but for me i've seen results like so many people have seen my face they're like ah Kelly, what do you do to your face that you applying now and it's really really affordable it works like i said so if you're thinking of 
making up your mind on the ordinary products take it from someone who has used herself as the experiment i noticed that they deliver to nigeria but it's not cheap for standard shipping you have to pay the sum of 38 dollars even if you're buying one thing of three or six dollars because their things are not so expensive but if you want to opt for free delivery you have to buy up to 250 dollars yes i know that's a lot me i bought my own from the uk using my personal shopper shopper helper she helped me get them i just shipped them down here to me lastly guys before i end this video i'm just going to share with you all the products i'll be repurchasing these will be a staple in my skincare routine from now so i won't be repurchasing five of them when they are done with because i mean i've seen the ones that work really well for me out of the five being niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent vitamin c suspension 23 percent plus ha spares two percent as a like acid suspension 10 percent that just dropped mandelic acid 10 percent plus ha and alpha abutane 2 percent plus ha the ones i will be repurchasing number one being alpha abutane 2 plus 2 2 percent plus ha i really love this product so much and i would definitely repurchase this this would be a staple in my skincare from now onwards and yeah i really 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 love it the next one i'll be repurchasing i must repurchase is the niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i love this one that it comes in a 60 ml this is like the only ordinary product i saw that comes in a 60 ml ideally they all come in 30 ml so this is in a 60 ml bottle i would definitely recommend it and i would definitely repurchase it instead of buying the 30 ml i feel like it's better to buy the 60 ml some product i'll be repurchasing from the lot is the azelaic acid suspension 10 percent this is also a favor of mine and i love how it just evens out my skin tone clarifies everything I would definitely repurchase this yeah with this two that's the vitamin c and the mandelic acid i'm not sure of which i will be repurchasing reason being that the vitamin c i can always get a vitamin c drugstore cream and i feel like it's going to do the same work because vitamin c just helps in clarifying your skin and making it more glow with you get so i might not buy this one again i might just end up with a drugstore one i have one from boots already the mandelic acid i feel like I won't be repurchasing this one. I'm more sure of not repurchasing this one than this one. Yeah. The reason being that it made my skin so dry. I know that it's an exfoliant, but it's too harsh on my skin. So after this bottle is done with, I doubt I will repurchase it again because I already have a good base for the alpha abutane and the niacinamide to work on you get so i might not repurchase this one but if you're starting off your routine and you're trying to get rid of old skin and flaky skin then you should start with the mandelic acid that's if you have sensitive skin because this is the option for those with really sensitive skin there's also glycolic acid and the rest but those ones are way more harsh so guys that's it with my skincare update i might do another update maybe in six months so that you guys can see if my skin is looking renewed or i'm still here do you get because i'm i'm not where i want to be but i'm far off i'm a far cry <laughs> from where i used to be right now i just like the glowy skin and i look really good if i should say so myself okay if you enjoyed watching this video give it a thumbs up have you ever tried the ordinary product which one is your fave let us know in the comment section it might help somebody out share 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 this video and leave your comment down below subscribe if you haven't already guys subscribe subscribe please i'm begging you okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye